Friends of Elrang and haters of humans, welcome to your good friend Elrang's adventures here as the Duke of Senalana. Now today I'm going to be uh, adjusting kind of the way we approach things a little bit. I, I'm going to do a little bit of light editing just to give me the opportunity to, to kind of pause, take stock of what's going on, plan out our next move a little bit more thoroughly. The problem with kind of trying to do everything in one take, because I haven't really got a huge amount of time right now, um, is that, you know, I, I have to constantly think of what comes next. You know, it doesn't really give me much chance to to slow things down. Generally, I have to pay on speed five, so we at least achieve something during each episode. But instead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can, I, I can adjust things a little bit here now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more. I've written down some other stuff that a lot of people have suggested too. Oh, probably worth mentioning as well. Um, there was an OBS update a couple of weeks ago that completely bollocked up my microphone. I'm not sure what caused it, why. My microphone settings are identical, but occasionally it now peaks for some completely unknown reason. I have a feeling it might be a Windows issue, but I am going to be uh, spending a little time hopefully thoroughly resetting that. So for today, we're going to be nice and calm to avoid peaking things too much. So first things first then, advice from the comments. Uh, somebody said that the reason our Arcana probably dropped is because our Flame Atronaut disappeared, and it absolutely has done. Um, now on the subject of that, someone else also said that we can possibly summon a higher level of uh, Daedra now anyway. More specifically, we can summon this uh, Dramora instead. So that's going to cost us the 80 Magicka. D to be fair, would I prefer the money right now? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't think we've got to worry about anything negative immediately here. But let's summon you. Ooh. Oh my god, you just spawn in as a... Oh, you're not that good. We've summoned a, a Dramora of Namira. Um, an immortal, loyal Dramora. Very nice. I was kind of hoping you'd have some, like, leadership traits or something like that. But no, you're just a just a character that'll hang out. Now, that doesn't count for the same modifier. No, that doesn't even count as the same modifier as our um, Flame Atronach did. So I guess we'll just summon another Flame Atronach too then, given that gives us the plus five Arcana. That's enormous, right? So I think we've got to roll with that one. Um, takes back up to 360. There we go. So that makes a lot of sense. What am I going to do with this Dramora that turned up? Uh, I presume you're at the bottom of our court here. Let's do here somewhere. Um, man, they look cool, don't they? We've got that... Uh, it's more like Oblivion style Daedric armor, isn't it? That's cool. Vrotesson Imashet. Uh, you are pretty shit, that's right. Your stats are absolutely terrible. I mean, we could keep rolling the dice, summoning more and more Dramora, and seeing that if eventually we get one with, say, a High Prowess or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, the, uh, there's a lot to do today. The other thing as well, something that, that you know, is, is kind of second nature in CK2, is something I haven't been doing very much this time around, and that's making sure that our... Counselors are always the best counselors we've got. So Elaroth is, is up there still as our best diplomat. Um, you are far up there as our best steward. Now, the marshal was the... Yeah, that, that was the one that we should have swapped out. Uh, 23 marshal versus 16 of our current marshal. Um, to put that into perspective, then, she's gaining control in the county. going to take 13 months. If we swap her out, um, it's only 10 months with our new one. It's not a massive amount of time when you're a very long-lived elf, but it's pretty all right, right? Um... Yeah, no, that's pretty much all we can do. Sadly, we can't re really get rid of the Thamil the da 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 uh, unless we maybe do another assassination, as Elrang is very much one to do. And to be honest, given the amount of times uh, this guy has been embezzling, I think I might get rid of him. I think he might disappear. And that's all because he's got the greedy trait right now, and he's sinful, but it's going to make him embezzle more. I think it's time for him to go in the hopes that we get someone else. Because when we're the last real bastion of our culture and our religion, the last thing we need is for our old Ark to be out there stealing money from it, lowering its further bloody non-stop. So you can die as far as I'm concerned. The big comment that I've seen most frequently in the comment section uh, over kind of last episode and, uh, and the episode before that was everybody saying that we've got to try and get our development going a little bit more, right? A development three out of a hundred. This would be a really nice way to level us out in terms of levies, taxes, everything. Uh, someone made a good point. You can kind of justify it that our our learning focused character would be interested in developing the culture and the religion and, and every aspect of what would otherwise be a dying religion. Sure, we can play the character, uh, but we've also got to consider the the overall motivations of the campaign. Not to mention his life experiences. And this guy has spent an enormous amount of time 
with money problems. If it wasn't for the fact that he was a master alterationist, we would be doomed, right? Think of how long we were in, uh, we weren't in debt. Um, we had a monthly income lower than, uh, than of course, what we were earning. We were net losing cash. And now we're actually actively in debt. So I do think that he would be interested in the RAM development. Makes the most sense, right? One thing we did do yesterday, uh, you might remember that this character's mother, um, Queen Nilwan, insulted our, our, our pee, pee at the bathhouse. So she mysteriously died. Can't imagine why. We've split the realm actually very conveniently into uh, Renthia and Grartwood. So we are now going to be the steward of Arenthia. That seems okay. You know what? I can roll with that. We get the stewardship uh, experience for doing that as well. So I'm, I'm all right with that one. Particularly given that we're going to swap over to stewardship. So I think we'll do that. So let's go for architect. Could be good, right? Um, what does administrator do? Stewardship plus three. Architect gives us actual building bonuses, right? Yeah, construction costs, holding construction costs. Fair enough. Um... These are more about managing realm and feudal obligations and contracts and things like that. Whereas, oh, I forgot how powerful the claim throne scheme was. I'll be honest, that, that single perk kind of put me off CK3 at the beginning. I did a playthrough on the channel like two years ago now. Um, when we were playing as just like this. I, uh, as far as I recall, we were playing as a Persian count. We used that decision, inherited the duchy, and then instantly jumped up to, like, emperor because there was no one else above us. It was it was totally nuts, and it made me feel a little... Give, give me a weird taste in my mouth. Um, yeah, I think we'll go down the architect tree. I think that's a good idea. Uh, what do we want? Do we want wealth focus, monthly income, stewardship? Duty does lower enemy agent acceptance. That's interesting, given that we've had one or two problems with assassination, like our counselors and also our son and heir, Umaril. Um, the wealth folks, I mean, it only gives 10% and we're earning, yeah, I mean, that's not, that's not worth it, is it? That's going to give us pennies. Uh, let's go for, let's just go for the plus three stewardship. Oh, courtier and guest opinion plus 20 though, might allow us to get some better knights. Now nah, let's go for the stewardship. I'm all right with that one. Then I guess we'll start going down this side first, cutting cornerstones, professional workforce and, and start developing what is going to be the first and only alien dukedom. I think this is a good idea. And there we go. We've got full county control in that one. Let's shift you over to uh, nothing. Oh, my God. We've got 100 control across the board. Oh, I'm still not entirely sure what happened with the um, <laughs> with the vine dust exceptions. I guess I must have just messed it up. We don't want to assassinate this guy just before he finishes converting the province. He's got 13 months left to convert that over, but our, our scheme is going to be progressing much faster than that. We've got five months on that one. Um, I, I think what we do very sensibly is just put the scheme, uh, the assassination scheme off until he's converted over. Second that's done, we get rid of the guy. Uh, no, wait, I'm not ready. Delay it by another five months. Come back to me in a moment. Ooh. My spy master, Emuin, approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains a powder most nefarious. Uh, no. Again, I don't think we want to... We're just going to make him not feel well. I think we're okay, thank you. No, we, we've got to hold off. You're too eager to kill people, Elrang. Boom, there we are. Dathomalil of Senelana has converted Grimwatch. And now, a, a celebration for you being such a good old Ark Dathomalil. Of course, he'd be happy for that because he's a very greedy man. Bon appétit. Oh no, he choked to death. The bird became the last thing Dathomalil ever ate. Ever, even better in his death throes, a bone got stuck in Delomalil's throat. Now it's unclear what it killed him at all. Amazing. Must have been something he ate. Now we've got a new old arc. This guy immediately endorses us. He's humble, compassionate, and gregarious. Uh, she is compassionate, uh, gregarious. You're a contentious grab. You're not amazing. You're also lowborn. Oh, God, your stats are dog shit. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to take us so long to convert, right? Uh, 21 years. Oh, my God. Um, everybody, uh, praise the new old arc. Wow, how nice to have you on board. <laughs> Emuin and four other agents join your scheme to murder the new old arc. What a shocker. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably just let that one... I think we'll just let that one pass by. Look at that. We're already up to, uh, 49. We're completely out of debt already. How's the magic of regeneration going? 206 out of 360. I mean, what do we even want to do with it? Do we want to summon a Dramora army? I feel like raising undead was a total trap and, a, and an absolute waste of time. They might, if we can even do it, make for good raiders at some point, just to dime and grab the cash, get out. 
But when it comes to actually defending our realm, maybe even grabbing Vine Dusk here in a second. What does that count as? Um, oh, interesting. So it's part of this one. We could grab that one, no problem, because then it would be up to... There is no Duchy of Vine Dusk. So really, we could grab that. We can make ourselves a double Duchy. I want to play as as tall as is relevant to the moment i don't want to be like uh expanding out and getting you know three other cultural and religious uh different provinces to what we want right i think we need to be a bit uh, a bit more careful with it a bit slower with the expansion Ooh, plush vibrant and soft as the first light of dawn a merchant presents you with an exquisite carpet as i marvel at the fine weave i'm struck by a thought wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet, even conceal the, the, the steps of a bumbling agent? Uh, Cabanique will be honored by such a gift. Do we have to pay for that? No, we've just got it. We just get to gift it to her. She gains a plush and exotic carpet for 10 years. <laughs> Monthly prestige, 20% hostile skin resistance, minus 10. Or um, there's a possibility she gains extra vigilant. Or we could take the plush and exotic carpet. Well, it's 20% monthly prestige for 10 years. It will basically invite assassins a little bit better. Honestly, I think our, 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 our overall intrigue is not bad. I want the plush and exotic carpet. No way. That seems way better for us. Ooh, a new cultural era. Your culture has joined the early interregnum era. New innovations are available. Of course, it's the cultural head. I really should be doing something about that, I suppose. Uh, my spy master, Emuin, approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains the powder most of various. If sprinkled on top, say a gift for Cabanique. It will leave no trace, but will afflict whoever touches it with will with weakness and ill humors. Well, 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 I should say she deserves a gift. We do have 69 gold, so you know what? I feel like we can probably uh we can probably afford a little a little contribution to trying to get ourselves a better religious character again. Ooh. As the fire brawls, drinks have been had, and Lucilia is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous meth folk folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told a story of my own life? Perhaps the time I joined Baron Jazaba. Ah. Baron Jazaba of Sleek Creek's war against King Cicero when it all started to uh, go off the rails a little bit. Uh, we can either uh, keep it traditional, we grow closer to forming a friendship with her, or we, we offer our own story. She gains 15 opinion of us, we gain 75 prestige, and we lose 10 stress. Lots of people were saying in the comments as well that Ambitious is a very low tier trait in uh, CK3. Just because of the amount of additional stress that you get on your character. But I feel like, for, for kind of role playing purposes, I don't think it's that bad. But I, I suppose it encourages a lot more, or, or forces you to go down the route of a lot more micromanagement. Anyway, my agents have scheduled a journey for Cabinet, which will take them through the dark woods. All that's missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine the blood seeping into the dark soil. Die. Are we going to get away with yet another murder? Oh, we have. Cabernet has left this world, sent off by a bandit's blade. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured from among the trees, calling for gold and blood. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Cabernet was slain in the melee. The bandits are now hunted by all, and no one even suspects my involvement. Okay, we now have a new one. Uh, the Vicar. With a name like the Vicar, you'd imagine you'd be... A Greedy again? I... <laughs> is this in character yeah i feel like it is a vengeful ambitious man he wants only the best not only for himself and his culture and they keep presenting us with crap that we have no control over well we do have control over it don't we and i'm going to exercise that control again right now the carps if it is for a pond for your carps, if it is a pond for your carps you're interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The build before me has good credentials, and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. Um, every courtier gains 20 opinion of us. Who cares about the courtiers? Um, in exchange for 50 gold, no thank you. Uh, we can either go down the route of, is that truly the best deal you can give me? We get 100 stewardship lifestyle experience. Uh... It's possible we only lose 15 gold, or we say stop wasting my time. Um, I don't really care about the courtier opinion, although we are trying to swear courtier right now to get them to stay. 15 gold in exchange for 100 stewardship lifestyle experience seems pretty good, and we managed to do it. Wow, you make a great deal. And with that, we get ourselves a first stewardship perk. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go for the... Uh, ooh, I keep pressing C for okay. <laughs> it's the hotkey problem all over again. Uh, cutting cornerstones, there we are. 
building construction is uh, cheaper, 5% for all of the resources, piety, gold, and prestige. And then the holding cost, same story, 5% for all of the resources. Very nice. Oh, we can go on a hunt. Yeah, no, let's do that. Money well spent. I mean, I could be, oh, uh, terrible. Terrible that the vicar is not going to be able to join us on the hunt. Bon appetit. Felling a beast. Oh, was was it the beast that we uh, that we that we felled our old ark? You would think the creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in animal form, it was the largest fox I've ever seen. But even after the beast was wounded by a chase, it lasted half a day. It is still imposing sight, lying dead before me. We'll fetch a fine price for fifty gold, or we give it to our wife. <laughs> Just a mangled body of a fox. We'll sell it, try and earn some money back from this. Oh no, that's terrible. The third old ark in only a few short years to have died from food poisoning. That's crazy. You really should be more careful. Zolomir. Oh, now look at this guy. This is better. 16 learning. Arrogant, arbitrary, lazy. Oh, yeah. No, that sounds amazing. Well done. Good work. Uh, mastermind philosopher, though. On the plus side, though, you're going to be a lot quicker. So only six years now. Down from, what was it, 20-something before? Sure. Sure. You know what? That's okay. We return home reinvigorated. Amazing. So how are we doing on the Magicka front? Uh, we're getting up there. I do think we start investing massively into the capital, right? So, what is our first building that we can build? Military academies. Ah, it's a hard choice, isn't it? Siege works, marches. Royal armories give lower army maintenance, which I'm not really too bothered about. I don't want to go into specific troop types with the jousting grounds, the blacksmiths, or the archery grounds, because we might be... We're in this weird place right now where, you know, we're right on the cusp of many different types of terrain. A lot of our fighting is probably going to be in Valenwood. But I don't think we want to worry about it too much. Leisure Palaces is always very good. All holdings in this duchy gives control growth. Uh, plus 0.2 a month and 20% on top of that. Oh, and it also gives a lot of really nice bonuses, doesn't it? Or Royal Reserves gives development growth. Ooh, lots of people saying go for development growth. And I feel like the ambitious guy trying to keep his culture and his religion alive. Maybe that one makes the most sense. I like the Leisure Palaces personally, but maybe we will go for the... Wow, it's 30% development growth in the duchy, though. I would never normally build that. I don't think that would be something I would go for. But I think in this situation, it makes a lot of sense. And you know what? How much was it? We could get it, like, pretty much immediately, right? 240. Yeah, no, we could do that. Somebody said swap your steward over to um, development. I think we'll wait until we finish promoting the culture. We've only got nine years left on that one. Uh, then we'll go increase development in the capital. And we'll just, we'll just hopefully snowball out from there, right? And try and, instead of trying to, you know, increase specifically the, the troop types and the uh, build money buildings or whatever. Ooh. Oh, shit. Lucilia. She's she's old enough to now do stuff. Okay. Uh, she's also appointable as a court mage. How much is that per month? Um. Court mage. Court mage. What does it say? Whoa, whoa, stop. Um, we are our lieges court mage, which has given us a 0 0.1 gold per month. Not massive. Court, tutor, court, jester, bodyguard, bodyguard, champion, court, mage. 0 0.12. So really, it kind of cancels out. Monthly court grandeur increases. Can cast powerful spells for their liege. I'll, I think I might... Oh, do we go for... Go for his daughter. Honestly, she kind of makes more sense. She's got much higher learning. A 13 arcana. Oh, but 17 for her. Okay. Um, It's a hard choice, isn't it? Sure, you know what? I'm going to have her do that. Because if she can... She's not going to have us killed. And if she can also... Uh, let's see if we can get her married to marry off to her old arc. I think I'm all right. Are there any good uh, melee characters we can marry off to? Nope. Um. <laughs> our old arc is the only person of our culture and our religion. We really do not have a choice. He's terrible in every way, but uh, we don't have a choice. He's a, he's a good old arc. We can keep him around for a while. I don't like it, but we, we, we just don't... We don't have a choice, ultimately. We've checked before and there are no characters. Sure, some more could have spawned in, I suppose. But we'll, we'll stick with that. We'll see how it goes. It might just be a better idea to try and breed more characters of our dynasty, right? As early as possible. So let's see if we can figure out how to get her to cast a spell. If we just go change character and then say... Ooh, you will have a spell cast on you by Lucilia. Lo does she have uh, Transmute? She does not have Journeyman Alteration. What do you have? Um... Fuck all. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, right. Well, hopefully, over time, she will 
she will gain some uh, magical prowess. Otherwise, she's a... Wait, why did we make her court mage? Aptitude, good. She can't cast any damn spells. Brilliant. Um, so, grand is 240. We could do it right away. And honestly, I might as well. Sure. Um, we could host a feast. Or, alternatively, I could go to the capital here and I could build us some... Uh, some advances. Now, before I commit to the... Uh, what was it? The uh, Royal Reserves. Let's see what the Ledger Palace's full upgrade is. Gives control, prestige, stress loss. Okay. What about the... Because we're, we're, we're trying to give some sort of economic boon, right? What about the tax offices? Oh! What did I do? I just clicked on a county. Oh my god, I thought I'd accidentally built it. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Tax offices. Right, level three. Uh, just gives 20% holding tax. That doesn't even seem that bloody good. I'm going to go for the Royal Reserves. I like it. Uh, we need manorialism for an innovation in our culture so can i i we, we are there we are the head right so we can we can divert that um oh look at this sally Ache, i presume it's pronounced sally sally uh, Shay? i have no idea uh driven from their homes in old syrup so we, we're obviously the diaspora of uh of of this group i wonder if eventually you can flip back to being that because look native to the heartlands gold coast westfield colovian highlands general mountains nimine and nimine lowlands that would be interesting can we embrace oh man sorcerer kings would be good also they have that's interesting they have jungle dwellers Oh, of course they have jungle dwellers. Right, okay. Uh, because uh, Tiber Septim, right? Kaim, kaimed away the jungles, turned it into something habitable. I think that was kind of the... Uh, that was that was some Michael Kirkbride ranting at some point that happened, right? So that explains why they might have jungle dwellers. Interesting. Um, I don't know if we can flip, like, ju like just suddenly decide, hey, I'm going to change culture back to this one. Um, but that's okay. We can, we can go with something here. So we are stoic. Disease resistance, health boost, small, fine, stress gain, uh, minus 15%. Oh, that's good. Friendly fate casualties, minus 15%. And we also get a plus five defender advantage. Yep, that makes sense. Isolation is hidden cities, jungle dwellers. We can diverge the culture or we can make our own culture. Um, I'm not going to touch those for the time being. I don't think it's entirely necessary. Um, can we change the focus on manorialism? There we go. How long is that going to take? 43 years are oh, good um how are we doing back in the first era innovations not amazing okay um now what how is it we can influence this it's just based on our learning right that's all there is to it and to be fair our learning is is pretty damn good i'm sure there are other event driven breakthroughs and, and things like that but we'll uh we'll see how that goes i'm okay with that for the time being okay well the question is if we've got to wait like 25 years before we get that breakthrough can we build something else? Uh, no, we can't. So we're going to be waiting a while on that one. All right. Well, let's go for some uh, money-based buildings then. I think we'll try and bring in some money. So pastoral lands, uh, 0.2 per month. Hill farm, 0.3 per month. But those don't give levies. Uh, I think I could take the levies at this point, to be honest with you. Forestry might be a very, very good early investment. Because it lowers the construction time 2% per level. And there are 8 levels. It's going to take ages, right? That would take us a ridiculous amount of time. I presume we'd also need some innovations to get up there. Um, building construction time minus 20%. It also gives massive county bonuses. Ooh, it does give development growth, which I do want. Hunting grounds, forestry. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go for the logging camps. That seems pretty good. Do we want to keep building? Oh, you can only build one thing at a time. Ah, you know, like uh, every other Crusader Kings game. <laughs> With Marlapena Lasilia's diligent administration of my household finances, there is so much gold at the end of this season. Uh, how should we put it to best use, husband? Should we have a magnificent dinner party? Every courtier gains 20 opinion of you. Invest the money into the local area. Do like the sound of that one. Encourage development for 10 years. Gives 10% development growth. Um, if there's one thing money can't buy, it can buy its eyes and ears. Uh, hostile skin resistance plus eight almost cancels out that very fancy rug. Or we get another 50 gold. Um, honestly, I think I'd rather sit on the cash for the time being. Why don't we invest it into other places then? So for Green Hill, um, let's go Pastoral Lands. I think that's okay. Try and get some uh, get some troops out of it. Senalana, we're going to grant away. So let's give that to our... Give to your daughter. Will that... Will that disinherit her? 
Obviously, in CK2, you grant a temple holding to a son. That's a classic way to disinherit them. Um, or any heir. Uh, we could give them to a random... A Renthi noble or a noble of Methmeldi culture. I think we just give it to a random noble in the hopes that they found their own dynasty. And the hopes that they... Oh, but you're, you're an old arc, right? Of course. Um... I was going to say in the hopes that, that that might be a good plan for the future in the hopes that, that we actually get more aliens out there that aren't directly related to us. Because I think the inbreeding coefficient at this point is going to be enormous if we keep going the way we're going. So I decided to spend uh, 80 gold recruiting this person here. Kunanununa Olriad. <laughs> My alien is a little rusty. You're going to have to forgive me. Um, she was the person we saw yesterday that joined us. 23 prowess. So I, I had to go for it, right? She's she's like really, really good. That will hopefully raise the overall quality of her armies pretty decently. We've got this other guy, but he's 150. And I'll be honest, I don't think that's really worth it, fella. I think I'm okay. Thank you. How are we looking on the buildings? We're almost done with that one. Faction credit against Queen Minora. Oh, interesting. I'm trying to sway this guy, but I feel like to actually get him to our court, we do need to spend the money no matter what, right? Should we get a hook? Um, how can I get a hook on someone? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were saying you could do things like go down the intrigue tree and then uh, you can trade hooks for money, which is, uh, it used to be like kind of my go-to way to make a small fortune to help start developing things. Probably not a bad idea to have a look into. Professional workforce. Building constructions are minus 30%. Enormous. There we go. And there's the pastures already done. Ooh. While well, traveling across the jungles of the Arpencel of Grimwatch, I find a makeshift looking store by the side of the track. As I stop to take a look, a peasant by the name of Sem Semasila jumps into action, trying to convince me to buy one of the small Oriel solar carvings she has on sale. I make them by hand, my lord. Each one takes me hours of work. Um, <laughs> this is amazing. We can buy one. Um, and we can gain a small religious carving artifact. Oh. 50 gold to take a gamble. 60% chance we get an artifact. 40% chance we support local businesses for five years, giving popular opinion. We can uh, destroy the market store because she's not paying enough tax. It'll upset the peasants, but we'll gain money and dread. Or... I will talk to her and see what I can learn about salesmanship. Ooh, that seems good. It, like, it's a high learning character. Let's play the character. I think I'd, I would personally probably take the gamble on getting an artifact just so I can see how the system works. But I think he wants to learn all there is to learn about. Give me the stewardship lifestyle experience. She died without... As far as I can tell... Oh, we just, we just got the... Uh... Oh, it was guaranteed. Sorry, I misread that as there was uh, a chance of it. Oh, hello. As Marla... Marla... Marla Pen... Malapen. I have been obliged to attend a local sparring tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I noticed my paling... Oh, not bloody Gwingle ruin again. Sitting under a nearby pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. On the other hand, it could be a good opportunity to eavesdrop on the conversation of the other attendees. We can become friends with Gwingle ruin again. Bearing when we had to stop being friends with him before for... whatever reason, don't... Oh! No, 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 we were going to be friends with him, that's right. But then we intercepted that letter from our wife. Um, because he was horribly paranoid and, and ruined the whole thing. Um, we can discover a random secret from within inside the realm, or... I've wasted enough time on this disaster and just reduced the stress. We are at zero stress. Oh, uh, well, we're not. We're at six out of 300. Um, you know what, Gwinga Ruin? We're going to give you a second chance. You and Gwinga Ruin bonded after spending time at Attorney. Your Pelon and friend. That's nice. I like that. I feel like he wouldn't be that uh, hateful of other elven cultures. Particularly as kind of the Bosma uh, gave them somewhere to live, right? I feel like if it was a human, it'd be a different story. Whoa. We've discovered public works. That's good. Uh, Priest Denhauer, the husband of my vassal Aldark Deldea, has accused my vassal Aldark Deldea of having an extramarital affair uh, with her lover Indari. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? This only sounds like a good thing to me. More aliens, the better. Um... Doriel will judge these sinners. Oh, brilliant. Is this going to impact the religion? Uh, no. It's just everybody gets fornicators and adulterators across the board. Not my problem. My vassal, Old Art Del Dea, has been showing signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone knows that her husband, Priest Denhor, was the father of the child. Now it's become clear that the real father to be is none other than Endara. What a scandal. I don't mind. More aliens, the better. Again, given the whole imminent extinction of our dynasty. What's going on here? Are we going to War for Vine Dusk? Oh, my liege is going to War for Vine Dusk. Oh, well, 
That's kind of stopped us doing it. Not that we'd be able to do it for a while anyway. Bloodstained cloth, crows feathers, strange smelling concoctions. There is evidence presented to me by a group of villagers that Anumaril has been practicing sorcery. How could he do that? Probably necromancy by the, by the state of him. The villagers claim his evil works must be the cause of their bad weather. Um, we can release him. Gain 300 stewardship lifestyle experience. 15 stress because we're vengeful. And the peasants were upset. He must burn for his crimes against Oriel. We wouldn't do that one because we're cynical. A sorcerer, you say? I could use a new advisor. Um, 28 learning. Whoa. Wow. Um, if only I could make you a wizard, but you're terrible. Uh, holy crap. Shrewd miracle worker. Astute intellectual. 28 learning. Um, we upset the peasants. We don't care about the peasants. We've been crushing peasant revolts left, right, and center. And we don't really care about the gods either. Give me this man. You seem good. Surely there's something I can do with you. Um, oh, if only I could get. If only I. Oh, can, we, uh, can, we, is, can we become the religious head? We can make our own religion. <laughs> that might have been a terrible idea. We can convert to other faiths, can't we? Adamantine Oriel. Whoa, that's cool. A little bit far away for us, though. Um, Malada. And then, of course, Oriel. The uh, traditional. How do we create a head of faith? No one holds the position. Head of faith, none. Does not have a head of faith. Let's just make our own. Make our own religion. Cost us a small amount of uh, prestige. You know, like a little bit here and there. We could make it a temporal and make ourselves the uh, temporal is, is us, right? It's given to the founder of the faith and is passed on to their primary heir. Ooh, what a flex that would be. Um, I hate to say it, it's going to be very expensive. And that's not something we could ever do with this character, but there might be a plan for the long term so that we can finally take bloody control over this damn religion and, and, and take control over who's on our council. There is no way that we can just reform what we've got, right? We have to make a, a full... Yeah, we'd have to fully reform it. Well, that's okay. Our holy sites are Wendelbeck and the Imperial City. Uh, Wendelbeck being over there by Coral. And then Imperial City, funnily enough, being the Imperial City. That's cool. We'll stick with it in the long term. I, I'm not, I'm not going to make any grand plans to reform the religion. Because chances are there are there, there could be some events uh, around there. Oh, we've got a dynasty legacy. Oh my god. I never thought I'd see the day. Wow. Um, okay, cool. Whoa, where do we even start then? Uh, so these are the, the, the long-term permanent buffs that we give to all of our dynasty members based on the amount of renown that we've got. All members of the Elfboy dynasty gain the benefits of the dynasty legacies. Acquiring new dynasty legacies becomes harder and harder as the cost increases by 500 each time. We've only just hit 250. To be fair, we're only just become a duke, right? Um, do we go for Magicka? Gives everybody plus two arcana, 20% magicka generation, and children have a high chance for getting the positive arcana affinity traits. Do we go for Cottery? Uh, house members will not need a salary when appointed to a court position and can be fired without losing prestige. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, customs. Learn language scheme powers up by 20%. We can learn additional language without penalties. Um, wow, this is nuts. Warfare. And I, and I remember all of these ones. Um, I think glory gives you more, eventually, like, more renown, right? Erudition. Kin is always good. 10% fertility might make our dynasty. It would give us a marriage bonus over every other elf, right? Because they all have low fertility by default. That might help out. Then I think it is... Uh, does one of these not increase... Our education traits are good. I thought one of these increased the uh, chance of inheritable traits. Maybe that is glory. I don't remember. Blood. No, that's blood, right? Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to go for, to be honest. Noble veins would be amazing. We've got a lot of good inheritable traits. But it's what I would normally always go for when playing CK3. Or at least I used to. So I think... Play the character. He's big on learning, and magic has bailed us out every single time we go arcane blood. Plus, it's a new Elder King-specific tree. I mean, it would be wrong of me not to do that, right? Your dynasty has unlocked arcane blood. We get magical drills. Increases the size of mage regiments. Oh, so we can get level 2. Uh, so, obviously, 2 out of 2 on the alien sorcerers. That's interesting. Major siege progress is up by 1 mage damage. Toughness. Whoa, that's very good. Wow. Thaumaturgic heritage. Gives magic lifestyle experience plus 10%. Children can receive a student of magicka trait if their guardian has a positive arcana affinity or student of magicka trait. Sorceress rule unlocks the arcane court type. Ooh. And then finally, perennial rites allows one additional permanent ritual. Honestly, I haven't been using any of the rituals, right? 
Is there something we should be doing with that, realistically? Um, we've got an empty slot for another. Um, I, I, I'm be honest, I don't really think so. I don't really think it's it's necessary, is it? Uh, we could we could just uh, enable the stewardship one. Four point eight gold per month takes you immediately to four point nine. It might help with development, and I mean we're only using the magicka to make money anyway, so we might as well might as well go for a slightly longer term play. My spy master has come to me with great news. Someone is plotting to kill her. Grave news indeed. They don't know what they're dealing with, my lord. They will think they can kill me. I will show them. Oh yes, I will. We must stop the villain behind this. Why are they constantly trying to kill my spy masters? I feel like someone's trying to go for the job. I'm gonna stop swaying you. I want I want you to come to my court, but it's so bloody expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's so expensive. I need to remember a good repeatable way to get people to our court. Can I use a spell? Can I use like a what do you like illusion like like brainwash? Uh demoralize charm. Do you think it gives a hook? Charm is a novice level spell. What does it do though? I don't know. I'm thinking that we could I wonder if charm will give you a hook or something like that. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um well let's have a look here. Uh, let's go to your spell book. No, 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 no. We want to go to our learning or oh, magical art lifestyle. Um, Apprentice illusion, or is it? No, it's novice. It doesn't tell us what it does, but I would be very surprised if it didn't have a similar effect. It might just be an opinion gain. Honestly, that's also not terrible. I'd still be totally fine with that one. Um, how close are we to leveling up stewardship? Dominant growth in RAM capital plus 30 a month. Look, let's get for that. Let's go for that one. Then we'll flip back over to Stone Development 3. That's going to take a while, eh? Um, we will still... We'll stick with this for a while and then we'll flop over. Oh, God. The Milano world has been shot to learn that Aldark Zolomir has been making up excuses to procrastinate because he's freaking lazy. Condemn him. Ah, We can't win. All these priests are shit. I'm sorry. You've got to die. We kill priest after priest to try and line it up, and then you end up being awful too. Let's not worry about that yet. I want to sit on the money for a minute and keep upgrading what we've got, right? Um, what do you think? The hunting grounds give uh, pretty good taxes and, please, give pretty good taxes, and they also give some good military bonuses. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Levy's 225. Development growth is up by 2%. And then the alternative that I would probably go for is pastoral lands. Uh, oh, it's very similar. It is very similar, isn't it? You know what? Let's just go with you. Keep it simple. Right, and then over in Green Hill, we'll throw down another building. Why don't we put down some... Uh, why don't we put down some hunting grounds there too then? Oh, sorry. Oh! Oh! Popular opinion needs to be positive. Ah, oh, right. Yes, no. Fair enough. Um, very good. We've got control, but the uh, the people hate us. Right. Okay. That's fine. They'll we'll win them over eventually. Ah, very good news. My daughter Vesilmasil Silmasil has given birth to a son. Since the little one is part of the Alpoid dynasty, it should be blessed with a good name. The child was born in the sign of the lover. Those born in the sign are said to be graceful and passionate. Uh, to Thomalil, quick. We are uh diluting the bloodline significantly. Born under the lover and has a lifespan of three. I'm not going to call you Umaril. We're going to reserve that for the best of children. Dothomalil. I'm not naming him after the priest that was a dick. Uh, we've got Elrang. And Thersil after an ancestor. Sure. May you grow strong and wise, Amthersil. I should start giving them silly names. Otherwise, I'm never going to remember. I mean, this guy is so far down the line of succession. We'll probably never see him again, to be honest. Um, but I should start giving them silly names. So I actually uh, am able to distinguish them. Eloroth tells me the local celebration in Grimwatch, the home of Zolomir, is struggling with money. If it's held, it would draw a lot of people, both high and low. A perfect opportunity for infiltration. Uh, no, I'm not going to waste money on this scheme. But we will, uh... Oh! Again, we still can't recruit him to court, can we? It's still 150. As much as I'd love to have you on board, I'm not going to do it. We can learn his language. We haven't got a personal scheme active right now. What language does our liege speak? I presume that's Boz Mary. We already speak your bloody language. Um... Sure, you know what? I'll learn your language. Why not? We might as well have something going. And I feel like our character is inherently... He's a learner, right? He's big, big brain. So I feel like we would be... I feel like we'd be going with that one. Oh, my counselor died. Under suspicious circumstances. Wow, these counselors really don't last long, do they? Steward. Uh, oh, God. 
11 stewardship. <laughs> let's see if we can uh, see if we can maybe find someone else. Eh? Let's go all. Let's sort by stewardship. Um, oh, wait. Oh, it's uh, it's Divay Fear's daughter. Oh, there he is. Look at him go. He's married. Obsy Fear, Del Fear, Bates Fear, Alpha Fear. You're not supposed to marry your oh, lady. I thought you were supposed to be in love with your daughter clones, you weird man. Wow. Master Mage, acute necromancer, genius, incestuous. There you go. Told you. Uh, Reva logist log logistician, uh, patriarch, avaricious scholar. Can I see other people's artifacts? Because he must have some crazy stuff, right? Um, he's got the Daedric armor. That's cool. Um, is that all he's got? Really? I suppose maybe he picks up all the other valuable stuff that he sh shoves in his vault. <laughs> Along with Yagram Bagan. Maybe th maybe that's in their future. Maybe he does that over the course of the next thousand years or whatever. Accosted. Oh, no. Poor Zolomir was accosted in the woods. How terrible. Such a dangerous place. Oh, he's dead. That's terrible. Bandits again. Bandits and food all the way down. Who could have predicted that? And our new one is... Uh, she, honestly, I think we stick with her. She's totally fine. 13 learning. That's good. Good enough for me. She's calm, gregarious, callous. She's got no sins. She's not going to embezzle. Let's marry her off. Let's make sure she's getting getting the kids going. Everybody is fine. Totally all right with this one. Took a bloody long time to get there. We finally got a freaking good, uh, a good priest for a change. Greetings, my perceptive liege. Hello. Uh, done. Thank you. Well, there has to be. There has to be someone here. Um, what about Manny Marco? <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at this. Mage, lifespan. So he's not immortal, which is interesting. Master Mage, acute. How do you get Master Mage? Oh, I presume being taught by a mage may give you that. Because we're not technically a, a, a mage, are we? We don't have like a mage trait. Bizarre. I wonder how we get that. Um, Manny Marco, there it is. Genius. Uh, her Heresiarch. Necromancer. Irritable. Theologian, scholar, whole of body, mastermind, philosopher. Uh, he's ambitious, callous, arrogant, and patient. I can't argue with that one. Tata. House of Tata. It is my right. Amazing. Wow. He's also ended up with uh, many, many children. That's good. Good for him. Has he got any artifacts to have a look at? No, nothing. Whoa. Sweet. Well, that's interesting. Um, sorry, yeah, so I keep getting distracted by all these characters that I actually recognize. Uh, I am looking for preferably an adult. Uh... Like, maybe Aldma, maybe Alien. Oh, my God. There are no aliens at all. Um, Paladins of Oriel. Whoa, look at the glass armor. Wow, that's cool. Um, <laughs> what the hell are we going to do? <laughs> uh, does anybody want to join my court? This is one thing I missed from CK2, the join court. Yes, but my God, I missed that one so much. Uh, Arch Prelate, I presume you won't want to join me. Loads and loads of captains. Um, I guess we'll just say... Top realm? You're joking. How has this happened? Your realm. Vassals? Wait, what? <laughs> You're telling me there's no one with a stewardship stat inside my realm. You're a damn liar. Unlanded. Not ruler. Ah. There you go. Right, got it. So unlanded is a noble that doesn't have land and then not ruler is... Right, there you go. Sorry, my bad. Sorry, I'm understanding now. Um, Can I invite you to court? You would not accept. Oh, God, this is going to take a while to figure out, isn't it? Well, that's incredible. Everybody says no, and then I got all the way to uh, Lucilia. So I guess we're just going to make her steward. Good enough. The population of Grimwatch still clings to their Arenthi traditions and customs. The stubbornness makes them difficult to rule over. Okay, of course, we should continue the, the, the settling. It's only going to take four years, which is, is pretty damn good, I'd say. I don't know if that's significantly faster than the last character. It certainly seems to be. Ooh. Oh, cool. Uh, our old arc's average learning skill led to new temples being constructed. We don't physically get a temple, of course, but that's good. Um, we converted somewhere. The religious... Uh, sorry, the cultural conversion won't be far behind. And let's get you converting Senelana. And that's good. We brought, we brought everything to our religion. Then the second we get the cultural conversion to, I think other alien characters will naturally start... Spawning in at that point. At least that's how it works in CK2. Of course, it's based on the kind of um, the, the county. Development growth in Realm up by every time. I keep pressing that fucking button to confirm every time. And it's driving me insane. Centralization. Development growth in the Realm capital up by 0.3 per month. What does that mean for us right now? Uh, not a bloody lot. 
It's supposed to take a very long time, obviously, to get the development up there, but this is good. You know, we've actually built a lot of infrastructure, which is pretty uh, massive given that we had nothing going for us before. Yeah, we can't improve Green Hill anymore, sadly. We'll just wait for the peasant revolt to take off, I suppose, crush that and then carry on as if nothing happened, right? Um, popular opinion, a minus one here. Is that increasing? Uh... Expected false converts, mismanaged population. Yeah, I mean, we can't build anything else. Can we upgrade the buildings we've got? No. Because we still... Because of the autocracy. Damn. Completely shut me down. Can we construct a new holding? Uh, yes, we just are missing 19 gold. Oh, that's cool. What if we build a... Uh, what do you think? Build a city? I think that'd be nice. What's the academy do? A city must be constructed and a temple. Ooh, I mean, we haven't got enough holding slots there. We do, though, in uh, Green Hill. Build a temple. Uh, sorry, a, uh, an academy would be amazing, right? I think we'll focus on the capital first. We just need a little bit more cash. So before we uh, before we wrap things up today, I think that's, that's what we'll do here. Let's go ahead and blast a grand transmutation. Like I said, try and keep enough magicka in the, in the back burner to cure any diseases, that type of thing. And as soon as we are... As soon as it flips over, which I'm hoping it will in a second. Oh, hello. I'm passing through the Castle Gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Untamir and Gwingaru into my ear. The courtiers are talking with each other at a secluded spot, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. Their discussion relates to Aldarg Deldea. Uh, you want to kill her? I'll help you kill her. Torture the information out of them. No! Gwingaru is your friend. Uh, if only I could get a bit closer. 52% chance of avoiding detection. 47% chance they spot us when we lose prestige. Uh, let's get closer. Ooh. Uh, I managed to get closer without them noticing me. They're discussing a scheme orchestrated by her in my own court. Ooh, we know she's plotting something. Interesting. Fair enough. How long until that popular opinion is going to disappear? We're just like permanently stuck at minus one. There's got to be a council role to adjust that, right? Uh... Foreign affairs, domestic affairs, I presumed would have done that, but no, unfortunately not. Uh, train commanders, organize the army. We can't get any more county control. Is there really nothing I can do here? Just kind of sit and wait for an event that removes that or wait for the culture to convert? All right, I mean, we can. I'm not happy about it, but we can We can just hold on for a while. Our heir is unmarried. Uh, oh, right, of course, you were married to the person I, you know, dealt with. Here you go, marry this guy. He seems like a lovely fella. <laughs> Ooh! Malapena Lucilia gained the trait pregnant. Amazing. I've just finished up day's business in the council chambers when my wife saunters in with her granddaughter eagerly at her heels. I put down the ledger I was reading. No, no good can come from this unexpected visit. Lucilia hesitantly remarks upon my appearance. My husband, you are a mighty and powerful Malapen, but you do not do, some do not give you the respect you deserve. You should do something to demonstrate your authority. My granddaughter could smith a fine set of regalia that will reflect your status. Sponsor her and see how the uh, uh, creation will improve your mood. You, wa you want... Oh. That's fine. We give her 66... Oh, we've got a lot of money going for us right now. We're going to give money to our granddaughter to fashion us some... What are you talking about? She's no longer our court mage. Why? Uh, oh, because she's working on the jewelry, perhaps? How interesting. Okay, um, that's annoying, because you were the- Oh, but we have a better steward, so actually it all worked out fine. Oh, wow, that was, uh, very convenient, I suppose. We didn't lose any, uh, opinion or upset our granddaughter by sacking her in favor of her better husband. Well, that's good. My lord, the work in your precious artifact is proceeding well, my granddaughter, Lucilia, seems in a very good mood today. I'm not making any promises, but if I manage to produce a true masterpiece, what idea would you like to guide my hand? Um, do we want to bring glory to the dynasty? Gain a dynasty modifier. Command respect from the underlings. Gain a dread or tyranny modifier. Impress my paramours. Gain an attractiveness modifier. Or whatever. Um, glory to the dynasty, of course. Seems only appropriate. And we found another daughter. With a bliss, with a tidy up blissful smile, Lucilia presents me with a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? She was born to the son of the apprentice. Ooh. Oh my god, she's intelligent and beautiful and attuned. Oh, she's very good. Um, Lucilia, we can't give you the name Lucilia again. <laughs> Aknada, Valasha, Aldica. I almost named her that. Bal Balanda. 
Belanda is pretty good. That's a strong, powerful alien name, Belanda. Let's go for it. My lord, look at that metal. I've never seen such fine quality before. My granddaughter, Lucilia, breaks away from our market procession to accost the merchant selling the coveted item, ecstatic over her find. With this, my project would reach new heights. I could create something truly marvelous. Please, my Marlopan, bestow this gift upon me. It's very similar to the uh, CK2 artifact crafting system. The difference is in CK2, this event only happens like 10% of the time. You pay a thousand gold to upgrade it from quality three to quality four. Maybe this is the same situation where it's a... Uh, where it's a rare event, you know, like a rare outcome. Um, of course. So either way, so we can either just pay the 50, gain the higher quality, right? Uh, or we take a gamble, 41% chance, we lower the price, pay 10. Or we still pay the 50, but 150 prestige. Um, we still get the higher quality. We get the guards to steal it <laughs> as an act of tyranny. No, no, no. You know what? We'll pay the money. We've got a lot of money right now. I want to try and save the prestige. It's not worth the gamble. Let's roll with it. Let's see what happens. We've discovered ledgers. That's always helpful. My granddaughter, Locilia, appears before me with a frown. Burnt eyebrows and some bent metal. My lord, I mean no disrespect for this forge of yours. Let's just say if you want the regalia to be all elegant, you're going to have to invest in a new one. Of course. Done. Take my money. I was saving up for a new town, but the people don't want it. Ah. And to the foppish Elrang, we've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more, we're done paying you taxes. Once your coffers run down, it's, it's Haramir of the peasant result. Are you joking? Malala Methmeldi, your people have been forced to extinction, pushed into the deepest, darkest jungles of Valenwood, and now you're mad at me because I'm making you pay taxes to restoring our people to glory? You piece of shit. No, you'll die like the rest. You're going to crush this man. Raise all the armies. Send in the skeletons. Get them. Get them. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Done. May humans rot your living body. Don't be silly. We don't have it. Ooh. Over here, my lord. My granddaughter, Locilia, waves me over with a wide grin. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloth. Cloth. As I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. An elegant regalia set of... An elegant regalia set... Of masterful craftsmanship. Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. It consists of a silver scepter set. Set with pieces of peridot. A satin cloak that has been embossed, embroidered with satin thread. And a large peridot. Cabochon necklace. Of course. Wow. 20% fertility. 0.26 prestige per month. 0.12 renown per month. And dynasty opinion plus 6. Whoa. Uh, what does that mean? That means it will last 100 years before it breaks. This is lovely. Or maybe before we have to restore it, probably as a money sink, right? That would make some sense. Ah, oh, wow. Where do we equip that? Uh, there you go. Goes in regalia. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I feel better already. Maybe we can look at the details there. Claimants, history. That's cool. Wow, this is nice. Um, then Antigram will slow the durability decay. You know what? We could afford it at this point. We've actually got a lot of money going for us. But I think... I think I'm okay. I think we'll just hold on. We've got low county control. Weird. Um, well, look, let's get you over there to go deal with that one, if that's all right. How are we doing in the capital? Uh, popular opinion, minus 51. Amazing. Uh, soon, though, it's going to be culturally converted. Very, very, very soon. And we have learned Alt Mary. Very good. I finally learned the Alt Mary language. Endless hours practicing accentuation. Sleepless nights mimicking inflection. Countless lessons mastering intonation. Amazing. Whoa. That's like three languages we know now, right? And we've got a perk. Um, let's go down the, let's keep going down the architecture then, I suppose. Every time I've pressed that button, this is why I had to quit Dwar Dwarf Fortress. It's just so ingrained. The, the Rimworld hotkeys after 7,000 hours are so ingrained. The muscle memory is just, uh, you just can't get over it. Uh, I'm going to swap back to magic and see if we can do something with illusion. Uh, let's go for the stewardship one. Sure, there you go. Let's get a couple of levels of illusion under our belt, given that we haven't really done any practice of that whatsoever. We have promoted culture. Meth Meldy, Malada. Done. Can we now build here? Nope. Popular opinion still needs to be positive. Um, how, how do we increase that? Suspected false converts is going to disappear in like 50 years. Fuck me. And then uh, mismanaged population. Okay, so that's the problematic one. That's going to disappear very soon too. I presume we just need events that will help us with... Um, that will just help us with with restoring the opinion. Promote culture, increase development. 
collect taxes or promote cultural acceptance. How does that work? So that's if you don't necessarily want to fully convert them over. Okay. Um, I, I, look, I mean, I suppose we'll just go increase development and see if we can get something going with that instead. I, I need help then. I need help to know how I'm supposed to fix this popular opinion so that we can actually... We, we, we've accrued a massive amount of cash. We built some buildings and now because the people hate me, they won't let me develop the bloody realm anymore. Although they will in Greenhill. Greenhill are now happy enough to let me carry on. So I guess we'll move over there and keep bloody going with that one fast before they all freak out at me again. I'd just love to build a whole new... We could, we could build like a whole new city and they won't let me because they don't like me. Like, how am I supposed to prove myself to you people? I want to build you a city. Unbelievable. Thank you for joining me today. Sorry, we massively overran because, of course, there was a lot of stuff that just happened at the end there. Uh, new baby, new city, new culture. We've converted the capital. We can maybe build some alien buildings. I don't know. We'll have to take a look around and see what we can do with that. Thank you for bearing with me and come back tomorrow.